Greetings everyone and welcome to No BS Baking, got JP here. Now today I want to um, make a correction to my last video that I did. Uh, I've been a little bit rattled and it's trying to get my video together. We got construction going on over here as, as you can see. Banging and clanging and I just didn't have it all together and unfortunately I missed some information in calculating dough weight to pan size uh, for the pizza pan. With circular pans, we have to incorporate pie, and so ultimately, I have the correction to that video right here. Uh, so, without further ado, let's go. So, the first thing we need to do is calculate the area of both of these pans. Area equals pie times radius squared. Diameter is the size of the pan, i.e., 10 inch, 14 inch, etc., and is confirmed by this measurement. Radius is measured as shown below. It's basically half the diameter. So now it's time to calculate the total area of the pans. Radius is squared, so always start by multiplying these two together first, thus the brackets, and then multiply by pi, or 3.14. This will give you your area in inches squared or centimeters squared, depending on which measurement you prefer to work with. Now we have the area for both pans as noted on the left. Okay, so now we can use ratio and proportion to solve the problem. So 154 cubic inches times 250 grams divided by 78 cubic inches equals 490 grams. This should have been the dough weight for the 14 inch pizza. In summary, anytime you're dealing with round pan, whether it's cake or bread or whatever, you need to factor in area of the pan to determine the amount of space contained within that pan. The space is usually reported as inches squared or centimeters squared, depending on the system of measurement you opt for. To take it one step further, you can simply multiply the area times the height to determine the volume or the capacity of that pan. Thank you.